It is March 30th. It is a Monday. And it is 7.52 a.m. Ready to kick this day off. To end of life. <laughs> pretty, pretty basic. Kind of always wake up a little bit dehydrated, so a little vitamin C for the system. So yeah, I normally wake up consistently at least an hour before I run. For harder workouts, I'll be up like 90 minutes before. Um, and it just depends on like what, what I'm doing that day, but I always start the first 30 minutes of my day without my phone. Um, it's something that I've, I don't know, I feel like I spend enough time on my phone to begin with. I think most people probably do. So when I can just come down and do make my coffee, have my toast, drink water, and just breathe and just kind of focus on kind of getting my mind right for the day without having that distraction of a phone. I think it really, really kind of like just centers me and uh, sets me up to uh, have a successful day. And that's how we get the day started. A day in the life. Wake up, get bullied by Drew, run by myself because I have no friends, come back, cry myself to sleep. Okay, that could not be farther from the truth. Reed and I are best friends. We have a great, healthy relationship. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. <laughs> Big shocker here. I eat the same thing as Drew does in the morning. <laughs> Slightly different peanut butter though. Same peanut butter. <laughs> That's it actually. Yeah. <laughs> different honey though. Not a breakfast guy going straight out the door. Straight out the door. That's the way I've always been. Yeah, I'll just go run an easy hour by my lonesome. Um, come back and then, then I'll eat a nice hearty breakfast. It's the way we roll. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Max. This is not just, just planned. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, this is what gets you up in the morning and gets you going. Oh, <laughs> does that not feel good or what? Did you guys feel that back at home? Because I felt it. It's now 8.15. I am just like rolling, stretching, kind of activating a little bit. I'll do like 10 to 15 minutes of that and throw on the running clothes and go out for my run. How long this morning? Um, we're going easy eight miles, an hour. It's warming up pretty quick. I'm probably not gonna need these gloves, but do some strides too. Did longer than yesterday, so keep it really slow. 7.30 pace, something like that. Let's go, Max. Went 54 minutes, 7.5, so cut it a little short today. Just had to be smart. Body's a little tight, inflamed from the long run, so gotta be smart and not push it right here now. What's next on the docket? <coughs> gonna, make, gonna make some oatmeal. And then we have strength with Chris. Very far from the best, but especially when it comes to cooking. But that's your beautiful Instagram oatmeal for <laughs> you, <laughs> folks. And nice slice of shout out Christine Thorne for the homemade banana bread. Put a scoop of peanut butter in there, and that's it. So I just finished my run. Um, trying to get some like quick, easy protein in. So I'm just gonna use a lean X endurance protein, and uh, we plant got based. plant based. <laughs> um, we got like a lift in seven minutes. So I'm gonna just get this in and then have like a big breakfast after. I totally forgot that we were lifting in six minutes. So. Here we are.
Do you have it on? <laughs> shirt off. Oh, wow. Anything else? Because of the virus going around right now, we our gym shut down, so we're meeting with Coach Lee online to have him walk through our mobility and activation Mondays after a long run or typically just a reset session more than anything else just to get everything firing again and address the areas of tightness just get the body back opened up before Tuesday's session Yeah, typical day down here in Tim and HQ. I mean, we always have like the brain trust meetings. That's typically, you know, a few weeks before the drop. And then once we get the product, it's organizing it, inventory, folding, which is what I'm doing right now. Um, and then after all that's done, we kind of, you know, have to roll out how we're going to, you know, bring the product to life. I think what's so special and what makes me feel so connected to all the people that you know eventually get this product is that this is just all of us this is just you know we're the ones picking it up from the printer we're the ones folding it we're the ones you know writing the notes out to you guys um, and that's the most beautiful part of the whole process is being able to connect with you guys you know we send stuff everywhere and you know we're about to do our first international drop we're gonna have product overseas for the first time and I think being able to actually like tangibly touch the stuff and you know send it to you guys makes it way more of like a family business okay lunch boys it's lunch time everything bagel with some ham turkey breast cheese veggie chips some hummus yogurt trader joe's best peanut butter and apple slices with peanut butter and not to be forgotten. Scandinavian Swiver is my favorite candy. If you haven't had these, go to Trader Joe's and treat yourself. My goodness, it puts Swedish fish to absolute shame. There it is. Nice sandwich, peanut butter, apples, and my favorite kombucha, Rowdy Mermaid, brewed in Boulder. Hashtag sponsored. All right, it is two forty three, and I'm on TikTok. <laughs> um, yeah, um, usually between one and four is like just really downtime for us. Uh, just laying low, respond to emails, uh, just doing any type of business planning or creative thinking, sketching on my iPad, um, scroll through TikTok. Uh, yeah, just really low key until usually do an afternoon double. Right now, we're not just because training's pretty light right now, or else we go to the pool, or else all the pools are closed right now, but. Yeah, maybe go for a walk later. What's up guys? Um, it is 3.30. Um, I'm just doing a bit of uh, like journaling, something I've recently kind of started. Um, you can see there's a, there's a lot. Um, and uh, yeah, this journal's kind of weird just cause it's like literally whatever it wants to be. If I'm like listening to a song I like, I'm like, oh, I'll write that down and put that. Like I just finished uh, A Man For All Seasons, so I'm like writing up a little what I thought of the book, what I thought of, you know, just like basically whatever I want to write about it, um, some good quotes from it, anything. And uh, yeah, I started doing that and that's helped me a lot. Just like, I think it's good to reflect and I think the best way to reflect is just pen to paper.
Oh my god. We are making some ground bison chili. I'm excited for this one. I've never done it before. I'm completely making up the recipe. So it is five o'clock ish. Five o'clock. Chili's cooking. I am safety first. Going out for a short spin. 30 to 45 minutes. Just get some blood flow. I'm a pretty low mileage guy nowadays just because I don't have any races, so there's no reason to really pound the body right now. So I've been doing all my PM cross training on the bike. Yeah, so we have two meetings every single um, Monday at 5.30. We basically go over the week of training with Coach Schwartz and Coach Lee and uh, go through what we're going to do, where we're going to do it, how we're going to execute it, and have a short reflection on um, what last week was happening. and. Um, Coach usually gives us some good antidotes on uh, life also in the meantime, so. Dinner is served. We got the ground bison chili with some cheesy bread, mm -hmm. some tortilla chips. I put cheese and avo in mine. Yeah, there we go. Four, and a, four, out, of, four out of 10. <laughs> four out of 10, rough. Right. Beautiful day in Boulder. It's 7.30, sun's about to set. A little shake out walk. All right, everyone, we've had a lovely day of quarantine life and taking you guys through our day in the life. We just finished up dinner and we were at some local soccer fields just kicking, kicking the ball around with each other. And uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. See you guys soon.